voice looks at me. Sorry, bro. Oriol ist halb Spanier, halb Engländer und lebt im Haus seiner Eltern. Der Börsenticker ist sein Kompass, Informationen seine Währung. Today there's an advance third on ECB press conference, which is pretty, pretty important and core retail sales. And then yesterday there was all these FOMC statements, you know, the central bank, you know, in the US. So um, it's I'd say it's pretty important whenever they say something and they whenever they release anything, because it's basically who controls like it's basically they don't control the money but they actually control like you know the environment. It's, it becomes an addiction if you don't if you check it all the time. So you just have to check it like once in a while. That's all. But maybe once in a while for me it's like every 30 minutes, you know, or like every two hours maybe maximum. It's not about um, money itself because you know a lot of people you know think I'm like very capitalistic, you know, very shallow and all that, and you know. You only think about money all that, um, but I think it's not about the money. It's about you know what money gives you. It's what you do with money that that's important. I want money just like a, a tool at the end of the day. Oriol Serra is a banker in London. Er handelt mit Währungen und versucht aus Geld noch mehr Geld zu machen. Am Abend fliegt er in seine Geburtsstadt Barcelona. Dort will er mit Freunden ausgehen. Sarah ist 21 Jahre alt. Er arbeitet in London als Trader bei einer Investmentfirma. Erfolg zählt. Pünktlichkeit zählt. In Londons Financial District wird er um Geldströme geführt. Oriol Sarah handelt mit Währungen. Geht er auf eine Short Option, wettet er darauf, dass eine Währung an Wert verliert. Mindesteinsatz 15.000 Dollar. Can you, can you come for a second, please? So there was a really nice short here, and then, you know, this like it just broke the swing low. Mm -hmm. I'm looking, you know, I'm not looking to short it anymore. I'm just looking, you know, for a good point of retracement. We just try to go along. What do you think? I suggest if you can bend the order around here. Yeah. And you put your stop loss and you wait for it. All right. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Cheers. Hi, Oriol. How is it going? Hi, fine, fine. Um, a bit tough this last week, but it's 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 getting better now. Mm, it's been actually quite uh, a tough week. I've, uh, I've got to be honest, and it's just really busy with with a uh, lot of events. Yeah, a lot of uh, But to be honest, your performance is not that uh, looking interesting comparing to last couple months. What, mm -hmm. What's happened? Can you can you explain what's going on? So yeah, I'd say um, with the new strategy I'm using, um, I think it's much better. Um, you know, long term it's gonna go much better, but short term I think I'm. I got comfortable too easily and too quick. So I just jumped into trades, you know, that I thought it would be better and like I, I forgot a little bit of my, you know, risk management. But I just had a, you know, got a, you know, tied that up a little bit, you know, my stop loss a little bit more tight and done into trades if, you know, the stop loss, you know, it's not according to my rules. Uh, what I can suggest to you, try to work on that and do your best to respect the rules and respect the parameters. Otherwise, it's not going to work. I'm not going to be, uh, 
quite uh, harsh on that, but uh, I'm underlying it. It's, it's, it's the first time and the last time because we don't want to have uh, the trouble with our investors and uh, uh, the risk manager. Hopefully next couple of weeks do better and to make more money for the company.